Today I'm going to talk to you about how to set up your Twitter account and a little bit about the Twitter microblogging platform. You'll notice a couple of things on the Twitter home page. The first is the search bar up at the top. You can do a Twitter search from this menu and just see what's going on relating to any topic that you're interested in. The second thing that you'll see is a Twitter sign up link and this is where you're going to go to get your Twitter account set up. And the third link that you'll see is the sign in page for those of you who already have a Twitter account that you set up in the past but may not be using regularly. Setting up a Twitter account is a relatively simple process, but there are a couple of suggestions you'll want to keep in mind. The first is to use your real name when you're setting up your account. This helps you to develop trust with your followers. The second is to keep your username short and possibly even use your name in the username. Keeping your username short helps when you're trying to write your 140 character tw tweets. Next, Twitter will have you verify that you are not a spam computer by having you enter a scrambled message. Feel free to skip the next three steps by clicking on the Next Step button at the bottom of the page. However, Twitter will help you get started finding people to follow if you click on Browse Interests. There are different categories to help you get started. Here's an example of a list of people you can follow under the category Technology. Find names that you want to follow and click on the Follow link on the right hand side. You can also find people to follow by adding contacts from your email lists. And if you know the name or the Twitter username of someone you'd like to follow, you can add those people manually in this frame. You'll be brought to the Twitter home page where you'll see a message asking you to access your email and confirm your account. You need to confirm your account to be able to access all of your settings and features. You'll also want to click on the Profile tab at the top of the page. You'll want to add professional information to your profile to help you develop more trust with your followers and help define your purpose on Twitter. This is also where you'll add your profile photo. Adding a real photo of yourself, or at least a photo that is meaningful to your Twitter purpose, is recommended for finding followers and helping others to find you. Click on the photo icon to add your profile photo and to edit your profile information. On the profile page you can edit your photo, you can edit your name, you can add a location where you're tweeting from, you can also add a website address that links to other information about you or your blog and add your bio information. You'll also want to take a look at your account settings. This page gives you the opportunity to change your username. It also gives you the option to secure your tweets so that only followers who you approve can follow those tweets. Twitter will automatically notify you if others choose to follow you. These notifications will arrive by email. You'll also receive email notifications if someone sends you a direct message. Direct messages in Twitter are the only private person-to-person -person way of receiving messages in Twitter. You can also sign up for an email newsletter if you choose. You can turn these notifications on or off by going to the notification settings. Now you're ready to start tweeting. Remember, Twitter messages are restricted to 140 characters or less. Keeping your messages brief is important to allow other people to retweet your messages. Happy tweeting!